I see you living in fear and I see you not using your whole potential because you care about what anyone out there is thinking about you. And I want you to stop, okay? Because it makes me incredibly angry to see how you are keeping yourself so small for people who don't even want to like you. You could do everything that comes to your mind to make them like you, but they don't want to like you. And if someone doesn't want to like you, they will always find something that's wrong with you. They will always find something to complain about. The goal is not that they don't judge you. The goal is that it doesn't affect you. I will say this from the beginning so that you know they will judge you. They will hate you. They will spread lies. They will keep sending each other your stuff and love about you. They will talk bad about you. They will talk bad about your looks. They will talk bad about whatever you're trying to share with the world. They will judge you. They will dislike you and they will gossip about you. So just that you know, these things are going to happen. Should it affect you? No. Should you care? No. Caring about what anyone else thinks about you or says about you proves that you define your self-worth by their opinion about you. Your self-worth is not defined by anyone or anything else outside of you but yourself. I get a lot of compliments from you guys. I love you guys. I get a lot of compliments from you guys, messages from you guys. But let me tell you one thing. My confidence is not coming from your compliments to me. It is not coming from my followers, from my messages or from anything else. I was confident with zero followers. I was confident when I had not a single person in my DMs telling me that they love me or that I changed their life. I was confident before all of that because my confidence was never just because someone else complimented me or someone else loved me. My confidence came from within. And if your confidence is not coming from within, you will spend your entire life searching for someone else outside of you, validating what you can't even validate within yourself. Do you understand that? If you can't find something within yourself, you will spend your whole life searching for that thing on the outside. And this is the exact reason why it triggers you so much about what people think about you, about people judging you, because you don't develop that self-confidence within you, not to an extent that you maybe think, because if you were confident, you wouldn't care about what anyone thinks. The second I post something into my story, I forget about it. People come to me in my real life and they tell me, oh yeah, I just saw what you shared on your story. And this is the moment I realize, oh, they see it. Like people from my real life, they see what I share online. Oh, I don't care about this. My ex-boyfriend came to me and he said to me, do you know that my whole family is sharing your videos? Like they share your videos, they share your posts, they laugh about you, they gossip about you. And I was like, and now? Let them, let them. Why should I care? I know who I am, I know what I am. I don't need anyone outside of me who doesn't even know me tell me about who I am or what I am. And you don't need either. Because if you know who you are inside of yourself, you won't allow anyone outside to tell you otherwise. But if you don't know who you are, the world will tell you. If you don't know who you are inside, the world will tell you who you are and you will believe it. What you need to realize is that you give these people the power they have. If you don't give them the power over you, over your decisions, over your self-worth, they are powerless. They can talk the whole day. They can share your videos, your photos the whole day. They are powerless simply because it doesn't affect you because you stay unbothered. It doesn't affect you. Someone has only the power and control you allow them to have over your life. I have this friend and she introduced me to her best friend and her best friend is a guy and he's incredibly funny. He's like one of the most funny people I have ever met and he is doing TikTok and stuff and he wanted to do more and he was like, yeah, but I'm so scared. You know, I, I may appear very confident, but I don't want people to talk about me. I don't want people to um, gossip about me. And I was like, why do you care? Like, you are so funny. You appear to be so confident. Why do you allow these people to limit you in your being? Like, you could achieve so much more. I saw him, like, big, big in social media because he, he has this, this potential. And if I see potential in the person, I get really angry when I see them not using it. My friend, okay, Alina, she started YouTube last week. I visited her 
And I was like, Alina, I let it slide for so long that you don't start, but you will start and you will start tomorrow. I forced her to record a video. I didn't force her because it was my dream or because I projected my wishes onto her. I forced her because she kept telling me for months that it is like her childhood dream to make YouTube videos and that she always wanted to do this, but people always kept telling her, yeah, that's not realistic, just stop it, like that's embarrassing. And I was like, no, you have so much beauty to share with the world, yet you are here allowing people who don't see this beauty in you to stop you from sharing your gifts and sharing your beauty and then she started and guys I almost cry when I think about this because I just get happy I get happy when I see people living up to their potential and using their potential and this is what I want from you I want you to use your potential so many guys of you wrote me I started YouTube I started this I started that I started dressing myself how I like I started doing my hair how I like I started doing my makeup how I like because of you because I finally feel confident enough and this is what I want I want you to feel confident enough to do whatever you feel like doing without this fear of judgment because you don't have to fear of being seen you don't have to fear being perceived of being judged because you know who you are and if you feel good Good within yourself you have to feel so good and so safe and secure within yourself that no one outside of you has the power to destroy this confidence within yourself I always see this like I am a magician people who think about you who lose their energy about thinking about you talking about you judging you they lose something they lose their time and their energy and I always say every energy that is sent to me by negative intentions or positive intentions is going to fool me and if you really think about this what they do is they send you energy they don't want to because they hate you they claim to hate you they claim to dislike you but they send you their precious energy we all have energy for a day like a capacity that we can use and they use their capacity for you for you by talking about you See it that way, that they sent you something. They sent you attention. You are worthy enough to make their attention shift go from themselves to you. That's how important you are to them. They don't think about themselves anymore or about their own progress. They think about you. They send you their precious life energy. This is how important you are to them. They claim to hate you, but this is how important you are to them. Thing that I have learned and that's a very hard to swallow pill is that we only get triggered by things that we deeply maybe even subconsciously think to be true if someone comes to me and they tell me your name Lisa is so ugly I hate your name I don't get triggered I get irritated because my name is not Lisa so why do they come to me and tell me my name Lisa is ugly I don't identify with this name so if someone comes to you and tells you you are ugly or your art is ugly or what you post online is ugly or dumb, this means that somehow you identify with what they are saying to you because on a deep level, maybe there's an inner voice within you too who tells you things like that. Observe what kind of comments trigger you or really put you in an aggressive or very defensive state to realize what it is that you maybe even subconsciously tell yourself or deeply believe about yourself if you believe that you are unworthy of love if you believe you are not worthy of attention if you believe you're not you're not good enough you're not pretty enough you're not smart enough and someone tells you these things of course they hurt you because they reflect your inner voice they reflect something that is within you that you don't want to integrate into yourself because you do not like that part of yourself what is understandable but you need to heal that part of yourself and you need to build your self-confidence within yourself so you know that whatever is trying to harm you from the outside is not going to shake up anything on the inside you are valuable you are loving you are kind you are beautiful you are smart and if someone tells you otherwise that's their opinion of you this doesn't mean that it has to be true that's their view of you the best person on this earth, I don't know who it is, but the best person on this earth with like the best moral compass. I swear to you, this person has at least one person who thinks that they are the villain. 
we are all the villain to some people. We are always the villain or the bad guy in someone's story. But if you know who you are, then it's not going to affect you. It's not going to affect you. I'm okay with not being always the good guy, with not always being the hero, with not always being perfect in some other people's eyes, in some other people's mind. Because what they think about me is not what I really am. Most people are also projecting. See, we all have shadow parts about ourselves. And the less we integrate this shadow part into our conscious self, the more we will try to fight it on the outside. We don't accept that part of ourselves. And whenever we see someone else representing this part that we deeply hate about ourselves, this is where we fight it on the outside. This is why so many people who comment negatively on other people's bodies, they are not confident within their own body, but they don't accept that. They act maybe as if they are confident, as if they love their body, but they do not love their body. This is why they go around and tell other people, you are ugly, you are fat, you are too thin, you are this, you are that. They don't love themselves enough. They don't accept themselves. They don't see themselves as beautiful. That's why they go outside and fight the shadow aspect about themselves in other people. I also want you to do an exercise. Like whenever you have a thought, ask yourself, who sent this thought to me? Like who planted this into my mind? Because most people go around and they fight the thoughts of people or of a society or people who grew them up and they don't even realize that this is not what they think. This is what has planted into their mind at some point because maybe their parents were telling them things, society were telling them things, their friends or anyone else. Ask yourself, is this thought even mine? And if not, return to sender. It's not yours to worry about. If you look into the mirror and you say, oh, maybe, you know, I'm too much, I'm too less, like I'm too ugly. Ask yourself, is this really my thought? Or is it something that someone else said to me or that I believed about myself because someone else has made a statement that made me feel bad about myself? And if that's the case, return to sender. Return to sender, always return to sender. Don't just believe anything you think because you are not your thoughts and the less you identify with your own negative thoughts the more confidence you will radiate within yourself because you realize this is just a thought and in most cases this isn't even my own thought it was planted into my mind from someone else the people who hate me and i'm talking about really hating me going around spreading rumors about me doing all kind of weird stuff like digging into my past and even contacting old family members of me they are obsessed if you hate someone if you dislike someone you ignore that person like i dislike some movies so i don't watch these movies but if you are obsessed with something you can't ignore this because you want to feed this obsession and if they always come back to your profile, if they, if they always go back to talking about you, this is when it has become an obsession. You are their obsession at this point. You should feel flattered, actually. You should feel flattered because you know you are so important to them that they made you their obsession. But it's like, it's their problem. Don't go around and try to fix other people's opinion about you or other people's mind about you. Just let them be. It's not yours to deal with. The only thing you should deal with is how you see yourself and is that you have so much confidence within yourself that you don't even care what anyone else is trying to tell you. I hope this video has helped you guys. I love you and bye.